Faculty, staff, and alumni of Farrington High School are putting on their first theater pr production since the pandemic began. Yes, yeah, first time, though, that they're going to be doing one virtually. Kamaka Peely joins us with more. Starting tomorrow, Farrington High School will be offering their stage production of Disney's The Little Mermaid. But instead of having to come down here to the school's theater, you can stay right where you are. Farrington High School's Performing Arts Center successfully brought students and staff together to continue their spring production despite the pandemic. Actors had to push themselves to learn and practice their parts individually online. You know, when you're singing online, you cannot have everyone unmute because of all the delay. Um, so I had to trust that they were practicing on their own. I had to like create rehearsal tracks for everyone. And then, like, choreography, you know, they're all in their small spaces, you know, in their bedrooms, in the living rooms, trying to learn how to dance. Once in-person learning resumed, the actors got together in small groups, but the challenges continued. There's no experience like a live show, feeling the energy. Same with the students, too. Like, we had to make sure that they were, you know, pushing forth energy to a camera. Yeah, because um, they don't receive the energy back from an audience like they would normally do. After months of hard work and one chance to film, the school's first ever virtual production came together. And it may be just what you need as the pandemic continues. Throughout this pandemic, entertainment has been a, a lifeline to everyone. You know, watching Netflix, watching movies at home. With the arts being cut, theaters being closed down, that's a part of the society that we lost during the pandemic and it's slowly coming back tickets for the little mermaid are now available online the money will go back to the performing arts center for more on the show times and how to get your tickets head to our website khon2.com kamakapili with khon2 news working for hawaii